Hi guys, we're here for Explorations of Me for August 2019. So. So this month, our discussion is around, and let me grab my clipboard so I can read this and I don't screw it up somehow. Do something you don't enjoy. Can you find benefit from the act? Does it give you a different view? So we've all in life done things that we knew we had to, but we didn't really enjoy, or we felt we needed to at least give a try and then when we realized we really didn't like that, we, you know, it was a learning experience, right? Am I wrong? So if nothing else, when you have to do something you know you're not gonna really like or try something new that you're really unsettled about, you know, if nothing else, even if it doesn't work, it's a learning experience and you know for sure you don't like that thing. Um, for me, my journals over the years, they're one of those things. And I need to go get one more example. So hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I can't even get this one on camera. I have actually two of these because I didn't learn the first time. I did it twice. Um, when I first started art journaling, I was taking um, a few different classes and Lifebook being one of them. And I did a couple of these big journals. These are Canson XL um, mixed media journals, 11 by 14 inches. And what I learned from doing these big journals, I really hate big journals. <laughs> really, they are not my thing. This is some of my early work. Um, and I dislike them intensely. So then I just started going progressively smaller. And what I discovered was I like a medium to smallish journal. This is just way too big for me. But I did try it. Um, and it got me into art journaling, which I discovered I loved. I just didn't love doing a journal this big. This is my current stack of journals. Um, let's get these out of the way. This is my current stack of journals that I work on. Um, this is my favorite size. So this is a moleskin um, weekly notebook. And this is one that I was just showing and, and filming in another video. This is a moleskin cahier. They're about the same size. Um, this one's just thicker because it's got more pages. And they are, where's my ruler? <laughs> The pages are five by eight and a half. Um, so that's really one of my favorite sizes. I love journals that are about this big. That's what I've learned over the years. I also, when I'm doing mixed media work, I kind of like this thinner paper, even though in some respects it can be more challenging. I also like the Delusions journal um, in the smaller size, which is about, ironically, about the same size. I like this size journal. I do occasionally work on some smaller ones, and these are little. These are both moleskins, also, um, and they're just little tiny, you know, pocket size. And these are some homemade junk journals that I also enjoy working in. Again, you can see a theme. I like the smaller size, and in the junk journals, you know, I like the variety of paper and materials. And this one actually has some um, really interesting fab uh, fabrics and papers and things in it. Um, you'll notice I also um, put these plastic like page protectors when I'm working on a page that way I don't get I'm messy so that way I don't get too much paint on the back page I learned that early on too um, what I don't like I don't like this journal so this is one of the bigger ones as you can see um, this is the Dina Wakely uh, media journal I dislike this journal intensely I kept working in it I've been trying I just don't like it it's not my thing and we are gonna do something about that today. I, I tried it, because I thought it would be interesting. It had this watercolor paper in it. Um, it had um, burlap in it. It has um, canvas in it. Ironically, it's not the burlap and canvas I hate. It's the watercolor paper. I really dislike this watercolor paper. Um, I don't like fighting with it. I don't like working in it and we're going to just do something about that today. So take all this stuff out of the back. This is all empty. And it looks like if I go to here, is it there? I think there. 
I can take out two signatures out of this book. So let's try to do that first, and let's try to take the signatures out. So in art and life, just because you need to or have decided to try something new, if you decide you don't like it, doesn't mean you have to continue with it. It doesn't mean matter if it's art or something else in life. If it doesn't make you happy, don't do it. Um, don't keep with it. You know, we buy, um, that feels so good, I gotta tell you guys. We buy art supplies or we try new techniques and we decide we don't like them, but then we feel, feel like we have to hold on to them for eternity because we paid money for them. So you don't have to hold on to them, donate them, sell them. If you decide you've tried something and you don't like it, like for instance, back in the day, I used to do a lot of floral crafts when I was in the artist cooperative store. Okay, I hate floral crafts. First thing I did when I stopped selling over there was get rid of it, <laughs> all of it. Okay, that looks like I have to cut that. So when I moved into the new house, I was complaining about this journal and that I didn't like it. I had to pack it. I needed to try to finish it. My friend Cindy Utter said, you need to just rip those blank pages out of it or rip out the work that you like out of it and get rid of the rest. She tried to tell me to do this months ago and I was too stressed out to listen. Cindy, you were right, I was wrong. <laughs> now the canvas could be used to make tags. This paper can just be used for scrap paper. The rest of it can just go away. of the last one there and what I can do is glue this down or I could just cut it out let me get some tape hang on So there's always a solution and when you're trying something new and you feel it's just not working, you've learned the lesson in it that you needed to move on. You don't need to keep beating yourself up about it. Move on and go forward. It may be hard, it's not always easy, especially if the thing is a relationship, but in the long run. It'll be better for everyone involved. In this case, it'll be better for the journal and me if we just let it go and I get it out of my workspace because I am done with this journal in a major way. I probably won't sell it because I do have trouble letting go of some of my work. And there is that page in here from when Bandit passed away. But this way, I've taken the blank pages out and I can feel like it's finished. I'm gonna put some tape over these strings and I can feel like it's finished. I can let it go and release the stress from having it hanging around my space, taking up a room in here and making me feel guilty about the fact that I dislike it. Yeah, that's a thing for me and I can be one and done. So I just I just like this journal so much, I'm not even going to, as I said before, wax the pages. It's just not even a thing I'm gonna be bothered doing. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take some wax paper, tear off sheets of wax paper, cut right wax paper, is really the best one. This is actually a dollar store brand. It works fine, but cut rate is the, uh, the best one. But use what you have. And then take, tear off a bunch of sheets.
just like I did with the big journal. Put them in between. That way your pages don't stick. And then put it on a bookshelf and let it live out of your space and out of your way. Let it go. Like I said, this is the only page in here I like. And move forward. So just because it's in your space and in your way, whether it's a relationship, a person, place, or thing, um, learn the lesson from it and let it go and move forward. Negative things aren't pleasant to be around, and I have better things to do than deal with negative. Uh, life is short enough, so I'm going to let this go, and I'm going to move forward in a positive light. How about you? Check out the description below for links to what the other teachers are doing this month and how they're taking the prompt. I'm sure they're probably doing something more traditional with it rather than a journal page, but I really wanted to show you this. Um, it's very different, and yet it's something that I think we all contemplate and need to think about. So anyway, <coughs> check out what they're doing in the, in the description below with all the links. Don't forget, and show them some love, like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you want to see what I'm doing uh, every day um, in an art, realm or you want to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, click on the link tree list of links and you'll find all my social media links along with a bunch of different places you can support the free content. Um, also, the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like take away an old journal you're not happy with, old art supplies you're not happy with, let them go. Move forward in what you do like, what you do love, what you do enjoy. Let the other go and call it a learning experience. That's it for right now. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.